Good evening guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tootie. So this week I'm doing a what's for dinner and I thought I'd show you guys what I cooked for dinner this week for my family. So we're at Monday. Oops. Oopsies. We're at Monday and I'm making some bean and cheese tostadas for a meatless Monday. So that's what I'm making today. Okay, so right now I've got some beans I had previously canned. Here, I've got two cans. I want to use these up, get them out of my pantry. I've got some salsa verde. I've got a little red pepper and some taco seasoning to make my beans. So I'm just going to get everything into this pot and just get it cooked up and mashed up. I'm going to add a little taco seasoning. Just gonna add half of this because I don't want it too salty. So just going about half, like so. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. All right guys, so this is pretty much it. I mushed them up. They're really thick and chunky and um, creamy. Added some shredded cheese to it. I'm just gonna let this sit here. And um, if you like them creamier than this or Whatever, you can just get put them in a blender if you wanted. You can do immersion, but I didn't feel like doing all that today. So I just did it with my spoon, mushed them up to the nice and smooth as smooth as I can get it. Add some cheese and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare some of our toppings. I'm going to get some lettuce and some tomato and some avocado. If, it's, if, if my avocado is ripe enough, I'm going to use that for some toppings. I'll show you guys how we serve up our Monday night dinner. All right, guys. So these are our tostadas. I'm just adding. I'm adding some um, guacamole, not guacamole, avocado. On top, like so. I've already got the cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. Just go ahead and take about a half avocado, like that. And then, um, of course, we want a little sour cream. We gotta have a little bit of that. And if you like valentina you can add that or salsa verde um i'm gonna let my husband have this oh the sour cream is super thick okay so this is it you guys we've got some bean and cheese tostadas for dinner and just a simple easy uh monday night dinner it doesn't take much effort you can even buy the can refried beans and just warm them up if you wanted i just had uh, some canned pinto beans that i just decided to use up today so that was that. That's Monday. These are going to be so delicious. Cleanup is going to be very easy tonight. So we will see you guys on Tuesday, tomorrow. Uh, see what we're having for dinner then. So today we're doing some chicken stir fry. Um, so I'm starting with a chicken breast, a large, I have a very large chicken breast. Um, and I chopped it up, washed it, chopped it. Now I'm just adding some black pepper to it. Um, I'm going to marinate this chicken breast, um, maybe for like 30 minutes or, or so while I prepare something else. I could have this marinating longer, but I didn't get to it until now. My friend who is a Filipino, she taught me how to make this, and so I loved it and I, I've been making it ever since. So I'm using a little bit of oyster sauce. Here, I'm just putting a little oyster sauce and the chicken. Um, maybe about a half a cup or a fourth to a half a cup. Some soy sauce. Don't put too much because it's salty. I have this, I have a little bit left, so I think that should be good enough. I have about a fourth of a cup or less of soy sauce left that's finished up. And then, oops. A little bit of sugar I'm just gonna sprinkle just maybe a tablespoon or two on there and then I'm gonna get a spoon so I've got my spoon I'm just gonna stir this up and get it all coated get the chicken all coated and yum this smells absolutely incredible. Super easy to, 
do up and throw together. So I'm gonna just let this sit for a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit at room temperature because my chicken is still partially frozen in some parts. Wasn't fully defrosted, but I had to cook it anyway because it's already getting late. I'm just gonna let this sit on the counter for a few minutes while I prepare the other stuff. All right, so here in my pot, I am going to be adding two cups of rice um, to go with our chicken. I'm going to go ahead and wash the rice and bring it back and let it come to a boil. Okay, you guys, so for our chicken, um, we're going to uh, get some garlic. I just have about two coves of garlic and I just, I'm pressing them because I do not want to um, chop them up. So I'm just getting out as much as I can. This one didn't get all the way chopped, but it's okay. I'm just um, chopping up some garlic and then I'm going to put some chopped onion. I actually have some frozen onion here that I put in a freezer bag that way it can save me time during the week when cooking so I'm just gonna take um, I don't know about a half cup or so of onion maybe a little more maybe one cup maybe about a cup of onion and I'm just gonna let this cook and I'm gonna let this start cooking Alright you guys, so my onions have cooked pretty good. They're starting to get a little brown on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my chicken now. So this, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see it very well from the, the lighting. But this is the chicken. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on in. If there's not enough sauce in here, you, when you're cooking it, you can add more oyster sauce, you know, a little soy, not too much because it will make it salty, but I'm just going to go ahead and cook this um, until the chicken's nice and cooked. I've got it on like medium high heat, and then when this chicken is cooked, we'll add our veggies. All right, so these are the vegetables that I'm going to be using a little while back in a um, grocery haul video. You probably saw that I bought these. Well, I still have some in my freezer, so I just pulled this out. It's like a steam in a bag. You can microwave it, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there. It has broccoli, green beans, carrots, you know, red peppers, and some yellow peppers. So it's a really good veggie uh, mix. I absolutely, it's my favorite uh, mixed vegetables. So I'm just going to take it and pour it all in here, just like that. I'm trying to use things in my pantry, in my freezer for my my um, my meal plan this week. So pretty much dinner is done. The rice is done. Once these veggies warm up and steam up a little in this um, hot sauce with this chicken, it'll be ready to eat. I'm just having this over some rice. And that's that you guys all right so this is our dinner for tuesday night pretty simple just some chicken and rice basically um and veggies so uh, i basically call this chicken stir fry you could serve it over noodles if you wanted to but we're just enjoying it over rice tonight and the house smells incredible give this a try you guys let me know uh, what you think and we'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys so it is wednesday yesterday we had the chicken stir fry today we're having chicken strips mac and cheese salad or something like that veggie or whatever i throw together um my kids have been obsessed with raising canes lately and i think raising canes is really expensive especially for a family of five you know feeding everybody gets a little bit much for one meal so i told the kids i would make homemade raising canes so i'm going to be making some homemade chicken strips tonight. So in my bowl of water, I have two very large chicken breasts defrosty. I'm gonna get these defrosted and chopped up into strips and then we're gonna get cooking. All right, friends, so I've got my flour. Let me show you my chicken. I chopped it up um, all into some small strips. 
So I've got my flour. I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip my chicken in this flour. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Now I'm gonna season it with um, some seasoning salt. I'm gonna put because I like mine really seasoned. But I'm just gonna go about one tablespoon of seasoning salt. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of black pepper. Ah, so got some black pepper here. That's kind of a lot, but once it gets in the flour, you're gonna barely be able to yeah. notice it. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of garlic powder. A tablespoon of onion powder. going to do a little bit of about a half a tablespoon of not even a half just like about that much of just some regular salt so I'm just going to take my my little mix my measuring spoon I'm going to go ahead and mix this in like so you can taste your flour if you want I usually buy the pre-seasoned flour um usually but I didn't have any in my pantry this week in my grocery haul. I didn't even think about it because I actually wasn't planning on making this. But my kids been asking for raising canes. And, you know, raising canes is kind of expensive. So I don't want to pay for that. So this is our seasoned flour. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, season up my chicken. Okay, so I have my chicken here. I'm just going to, since I have a lot of seasoning in the flour. I'm just going to lightly season the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little of the onion powder like that. I wish I should have did lemon pepper, but that's okay. I'm going to do a little garlic powder. A little salt, just a little. I want to overdo it. And some black pepper. Not too much because my seven-year-old that doesn't like black pepper is washy. <laughs> and then last, a little more seasoning salt. Just a tad bit like that. Mm. Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little fork here because I'm going to use this to dip in the flour. I'm just going to mix it all in like so. Just get it nice and coated, and that should be good to go. Now what I like to do is, before I put egg on this, I like to dip it in the flour first. It gives a better coating. So I'm gonna start by dipping all my chicken in the flour. Okay, so I've got all my chicken coated, as you can see. Um, I've got three eggs here, liquid gold. Um, and I'm just going to crack it into this bowl. I'm not going to clean it out because I'm just going to dump the chicken back in here. And I'm trying to use the least amount of dishes possible. Hey, 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 hey. Let me have that, please. Thank you. I don't want you getting dirty right now, okay? Okay, so I've got that. I'm just going to go ahead and take this fork. And I hope three eggs is enough to coat all this chicken here. Normally, like I said, I use a seasoned flour. And you don't have to do anything. Super easy. But this time I didn't have any, so I had to do it myself. I had to work hard. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to put it in the egg. So I'm just going to put them all, as many in here as possible. I'm just going to put them in the egg. And then I'm going to dip them back in the flour to get that crispy, crispy skin. Actually, I'm going to do a, a few of these at a time, about half. Just coat them in the egg. Put it back in the flour. And this is going to help the flour stick to this because... This chicken has no skin. 
So we need to make something like a skin. So just going to go ahead and do this until all my chicken is done. Just going to take my chicken. This is what it's looking like. Okay. I think we're in business. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my chicken pieces. Um, I'm not going to crowd the pan. Because I want them to cook nice and even. It's nice and golden brown, as you can see. I'm just placing it over here. I checked the temperature of this chicken and it was above 165. It was like 170 and 73 and going. So, it looks very, very good. I'm going to get a zoom in of this chicken up close here in a sec. So this is our chicken, you guys. I still have one little batch finishing up, the last batch. And then we're about ready to go. We were supposed to make um, homemade sushi, homemade California rolls. That's what my daughter wrote. But um, we didn't have time, ended up not having time to do it, so we ended up just eating leftover stir fry and chicken strips. So we're on Friday, we're doing pizza. If we have time, we'll do this, as you can see pizza dough hand. So I'm going to show you the uh, pizza dough. Okay, you guys. So here is my beautiful, super soft pizza dough. This is uh, Noreen's Kitchen's pizza dough. It's a really great pizza dough. So anyway, I'm going to divide this into about six parts so my kids can start rolling them out and getting it ready. All right, so these are our dough balls here. We got nice six. I try to make them as even as possible. From the looks of this, that one looks about the smallest, but that's okay. So we're gonna get these rolled out. I'm gonna show you our toppings. Okay, you guys, so I've got two of my cast iron pans I oiled. I think I may have put a little too much oil, but we're gonna cook our pizza in these cast iron pans. One's a bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. I'll probably do these two in that little one and then the bigger ones in this one we've got some pizza sauce here um got a little extra pasta sauce in case we need it which we probably will and then i've got some mozzarella cheese like i said last time i wanted to get the block when i did my grocery shop but i ended up just getting these these were a dollar 27 each and then i picked up this today because my kids ended up not wanting pepperoni they wanted ham and pineapple so i had to run back grab the pack of diced ham from walmart and the pineapples so I think we're mostly going for ham and pineapple. My little girl's definitely going for the ham. So we're just gonna take this pizza dough, press it into our cast iron pans, and make our pizzas. So we're just about to get started. So I'm going to take this one here, and I am just going to take it, oh no, put the little one, and give this to my daughter. There you go. Do that little one right here and put it in and just press it so sticky. just gotta it's sticky too. spread it out you need to put a few holes in it Now? Yep. I just went out of the shower. Alright, you can help. We got lots of pizza. I'm making six pizzas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
pizza is ready for the oven. So we're going to pop this guy in the oven. Hey you guys, so I just took our first pizza out of the oven. I was just about to start cutting and I said, oh, let me grab off my camera and show them. So this is it, you guys. We're going to cut this up into about four pieces or something like that. And this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. So hope you guys enjoyed this video for the week of what's for dinner. Um, and give some of these things a try. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.